objects. Line them up on the floor in, just in equal distances apart. Ask your dog to sit. She's like, I'm just going to go visit. Come on. This is the Asian era. I don't Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're going to ask your dog to sit. You're going to put the three toys equal distances apart in front of your dog. And you're going to verbally cue your dog the name of one of the objects. Obviously one of the two that they know. Okay? Your choice. As soon as the dog indicates that object, you're going to click, mark, and reward. Snowball. 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 
So he hasn't learned snowballing yet. You're just going to have him choose one of the two that he knows.
on the cabinet here as if someone's knocking on the door. Give your dog the verbal and the visual cue, go to your bed. Okay, or whatever you call it at home. Takes up probably this much space. He's going to get a double area soon. I'm going to put two of the large ones together. Okay. <laughs> Give him a living room. It's big enough that she has one of those raised pots. She's got that on one side. And one side. She can go in there and do whatever she wants. She's got lots of space and she loves it in there. Okay. I'm actually going to knock on the door. When I knock on the door, get your dog to take their bed or your board and go. Make sure they're not getting up. All I see is... <laughs> That's all I see is... <laughs> Make sure that you release before they get up. Okay. Ready? Stay. Get it back down. Stay. 
Stay. Stay. And drop two Stay. or three on the, on the mat. There you go. Stay. Door closes. Release. Okay. okay. Good. Yes. We're going to do that good. Again, that was better. Release her. Ready? recognition on their part because they're going to have to put two and two together that they have to stay in that down while the door is open. So this is going to be a challenging one. Okay? Do it again. So we're going to go to their bed when someone comes to the door. We're going, yes, we want them to know when somebody comes to the door, they automatically go to their bed. This is that environmental cue to go to their bed. They lay down and they stay there until they're released. Okay? Good boy! Oh, sorry. I was so proud of him. <laughs> okay. I don't have anything. Buddy, come on. Down. Down. Stay. 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 Uh-uh. Stay. Uh-uh. Down. Home. Down. Stay. Uh-uh. Down. Stay. Stay. Release. Okay. Okay. That was a good start. Okay, so this is going to be a challenging one. Okay? Now we're going to work on doorbell. It's not on the list, but I know everybody uses doorbells more than they use um, knocking. Is it Ava's triggers or other dog? Is it? Like, she's triggered by the word hello, too. It's really weird. Whenever you say hello, she thinks someone's here and she... <laughs> okay. Can you answer the phone? Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. All right. Bear with me here while I open up my YouTube. <laughs> Yeah. 
okay? So you're individualizing each one. Okay. All right, we're going to start at the open door. Remember, your dog needs to stay in that down position until the door closes.
get up, close the door, open it, and close it. Reward, reward, reward. Then you stand at the door and you wait for them to be it's too hard for people to walk by outside. If you want to be able to walk down the street, you can see them walk by. Well, this one doesn't do that. What we're doing here is we're desensitizing them to the reaction that they have at the door when somebody knocks on the doorbell. So if your immediate reaction is to usher them away from the door, try to get them to be quiet, try to get them to stop barking, go to your place, and you're getting all worked up and intense, they get all worked up and tense, and they're going to be more reactive because they're picking up on your stress. Your stress. So when the doorbell rings or somebody knocks on the door, do absolutely nothing. Sit still, and finish your conversation, wait for them to relax, then you can to get up and go to the door. Do this over and over and over again until the reaction is, they hear it, and then nothing happens. Yeah. My husband is still stunned that my dog does that. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Because she was so door reactive that she would go ballistic like she was going to hurt somebody's face off. Yeah. 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 And we had pizza yeah. delivered the other night. Doorbell rang and she laid there. And he got up and went and got the pizza at the door and he came back in and he goes, She's just laying there. I know. He said, How is she just laying there? And I said, Because. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He goes, oh, okay. Yeah, but I do do this for a living. That's right. So, non-reaction from you builds non-reaction from them. Okay? Yeah. All right. They also kind of stop. Yeah. <laughs> 